Hey guys, welcome to Talking Creations. I'm Carol. I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And if you don't know what Chalk Couture is, well guys, you're missing out. It is the best high-end DIY home decor company that you could ever get your hands on. And for $99, you could do what I'm doing. It is so easy and so much fun. If you're interested, put hashtag me in the comments and I will send you a link to an opportunity video. We also have Club Couture, which is a monthly subscription. It comes right to your door. Who doesn't like happy mail? I sure do. Um, and it is a transfer and three pace packs. If you are catching this live, say hello when you come in. And if you're catching it on the replay, put hashtag replay. We'll give just a few minutes for some eyes to come on and then we're gonna get started. I promise. I promise. It is Monday. Oh my goodness, it has been a day. For my day off, whew, I've been busy, busy, busy girl. So, hope you guys all had a great Monday. It was pouring here today. So funny, the sun was shining and then all of a sudden it just downpoured. So, yeah, I came home in a rainstorm. So, I was glad to be home. Robbie, how are you? Just like I said, we're just going to give it just a few minutes to see who all pops on and then we're going to get started tonight on a little project. Who's getting ready for the holidays? Halloween's going to be here before we know it. Right? I'm getting ready. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do this this tonight. Isn't he scary with his little black bats? Well, they're white right now, but they'll be black. They're going to be black. Yeah. Awesome. Then we're going to do a little staining tonight. Let me use my, my transfer trimmers. It would be so much better than scissors. These are made for our transfers. They are extra long for it. And they are also coated so that they do not stick to our transfer. So. And... They're for lefties or righties. So whether you are a lefty or whether you are a righty, you can use these transfer trimmers. So, hey, Miss Shirley, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well tonight. <clears throat> a little tired, but you know, all in all, I'm okay. <laughs> All in all, a little tired for a Monday. Hope you're doing okay. Let's see, I have to find a paintbrush. You would think I'd be just a tad bit organized, but for some odd reason, that doesn't seem to happen for me. <laughs> but I found this really cute piece of wood um, when I was out and about today. I had to go to Charlottesville. And so I ran by a couple of places and I found this piece of wood, which I love because this is that raw wood with the um, bark still on it. So we are going to use this tonight. For our little project and I am going to stain it 
fairly quickly, so I'm going to put on some gloves because uh, I don't need, I don't need um, stain on me, but I'm not going to stain the back and we don't have to stain the sides, so we're just going to stain the top part of it here. I'm just going to brush this on. And the reason why I'm staining it is because the color that I want to use on it, I think is too light for the wood. And I don't think it will show up or I would just keep it raw wood. But I think by staining it, it will make the color pop a little bit more. So we shall see. We're just going to give it a quick little staining here. Won't take us long to do that. And I'm just using a little um, foam brush. Something that's pretty easy, just that I can throw away when I'm done with it. I don't have to worry about it. Sorry, I'm concentrating, guys. I was hoping a few more people would pop on, but you never know. It is Monday. I know people are busy, but hopefully they'll catch it on the replay. I know everybody's busy these days, and school's back in, so a lot of people are with their kids. Trying to get homework done, I'm sure. Glad I do not have to worry about that anymore. All of my kids are grown. So, that's awesome. That they're all grown and on their own now. I'm just going to take a paper towel and like I always do, I'm just going to rub off anything that... Um, it's still wet. We're going to let that grain come through. I love to just put the stain on and, and wipe it off. I love how it gives it a nice little worn look. So, it's darker in some places and not so much in the others. So... It also dries it too, which is good. It dries it so it's not wet when we go to chalk it. So no waiting time. It's the one thing I like about when I'm wiping it off is there's no waiting time. I can chalk right over this as soon as I have it where I want it. And look, I think that piece is pretty. I mean, it started out like this. And then we stained it, and it's like this. So I think that's really, really pretty. So let's move this aside so I don't get, I don't get um, stain all over everything. And then we'll get, this is going to be a very quick little, um, a quick little project here. Shouldn't take us long to do. And I'm going to use him, who I think is super, super cute. The thing is, is he's not going to quite fit on here perfectly, but it's okay. He doesn't have to fit perfectly. It doesn't have to, remember? It doesn't have to fit perfectly. So I'm going to get my fuzzing cloth out. We're going to roll this up. I remember I always like to turn it over so I have more control so that my transfer doesn't roll on top of itself. Because if it rolls on top of itself, it is not easy to get it off. <laughs> I mean, it is. Um, it takes some time and it can be done, but it is not the easiest to get it off. So, And this has a big open space. So... 
Um, lots of open weave there in this transfer. So we're gonna try to be very careful with him. Just trying to get him as centered as possible. As even as possible on this board. Like I said, he's not going to fit perfectly, but he will fit good enough. And it may seep a little bit, so I'm going to make sure I press down because over here, where it's not going to be stuck on to anything, it might seep underneath there. So I'm going to try to be really careful. I'll make sure everything is pushed down the best that I can get it. So we are going to use Dune. Remember, this Dune is our newest one. Um, and Dune is currently um, out of stock. Well, it's not out of stock. Um, it's just, it is kind of out of stock. They're just rebalancing. So on our website, it says um, returning soon. So they're just rebalancing and this should be back on our website really, really soon. Hopefully this week. Um, this transfer is actually in stock right now so you can pick it up. So if you want it, grab it. It is a great little transfer. And then we're also gonna use our Shimmer Black, which is um, also should be in stock, um, hopefully at the end of the, the, the end of the week. So they restocked some things last week and then they're restocking more this week. So hopefully by Thursday, you should see some more restocking happening. All right, this is a good, good consistency. So because this is such a big piece, and I'm just checking to make sure I don't have any air bubbles anywhere. We're gonna, we're gonna use our um, small squeegee. I'm just gonna pick up some, and I'm gonna start at the top and come down. I'm just gonna do this really easy, and I'm trying not to go over top of things more than I have to because I don't want any bleeding. And remember, what you put on here, you are able to drag it down if you have too much, or you think you have it too much, just drag it down to another part of your transfer. I love that we can do that. So we're not wasting anything, you know? You don't wanna waste it. We wanna be able to keep as much as we possibly can. So I'm just dragging it from the top down to the bottom, pushing it into the silk screen. And it is a big surface here. Just trying to make sure I have everything on that side. And I'm gonna finish it on this side. Like I said, this is a very quick and simple um, project tonight. Anyone can do this. Anybody that is crafty, or even if you're not crafty, you can do this. So simple and so easy. I think I have a little bit here I can probably do on this little piece of wood there that's on the edge. All right, so we're gonna just pick it straight up. Slowly. Oh, awesome guys, I had one little bleed, which I told you I might have. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and I'm just gonna wipe it off. I might need just a tad of water. Just a tad. I like this. It's beautiful. I love the color. I love the color of it. It's 
Super simple, guys. And look, we had that done in no time at all. I may have to come in with a, once that dries a little bit and kind of get that last little teeny bit off. But other than that, it is done. And we're gonna put some um, bats on here. And a little bow. And our project will be done. Yeah, yay! I love the distressing in it, so it has all these little pieces that are, makes it look old. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, let's get that done and we're finished with that. And then we will put that over in our water. Where did I get my dryer? I got it from Michaels. And it is a embossing heat. It's the heat gun for embossing. I got it from Michaels. Okay. Oh, I've lost my train of thought. The bats. We have to have the bats, right? Bats, bats, bats. So we have two sizes of bats. We have a, a bigger one and a smaller one. And so we're going to put some bats on here also. Kathleen, how are you tonight? I hope you're well. Hope you're doing good. So we're going to put a couple little bats on here. And I don't really want my bats to be like perfect because, well, that's just not me, you know? I like them when they're off a little bit, so let's get, and we are going to use our shimmer, um, our shimmer black, which like I said, is coming back into stock. Hopefully, it should be in stock maybe by Thursday. So, I'm just going to give it a good stir and get all those little sparkly pieces that are in this um, shimmer. Sometimes they'll settle to the bottom. So I just want to make sure they're good and incorporated into the paste. And then we're just going to use our mini squeegee. And we're just going to go right over the spat. Easy, easy peasy. And like I said, I don't have it so that it's the entire bat. So, and then we'll just pick him up and we'll move him. Maybe we'll put him down here. And we'll do the whole thing this time. Now I'm going to make sure that I have it nice and down. And he'll probably be hid because I want to put a ribbon on here. So he may end up being hid. But if I decide to take the ribbon off, then he'll still be there. Maybe I'm just making sure I have all of that covered this time. Oh, I see where I missed a piece right there. All right. And I'm pulling straight up. Awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Of course, I have black on my fingers now, but that's okay. And then we'll do maybe, maybe this little one. Make sure we get a little fuzz on that. Maybe we'll put it more like this. So cute. We'll pick him right up. 
Oh, I love it. I love it. And then maybe we'll just kind of do maybe like a partial right about there. You know, they say you should have odd numbers. I mean, so if the one in the bottom gets covered up with my ribbon, which it probably will, then we have a couple up there. All right, awesome. Okay, let me wipe my hands off. What do you think, guys? This looks amazing. I love it. Super, super cute. And look, we're almost done. How easy is that? I spent more time in the um, store today than I did actually making this. You know, things are so expensive out there too. I was looking through some things and I was like, wow, I can make that at home so much cheaper, right? I mean, come on. And I can make it in my colors that go with my house and what I want it to be or what my customer might want if they commission me to do something, you know? So that means if you go to my chalk site, you can do the same thing. You can pick the colors that go with your house and your decor and make things, you know? Yeah. All right, let's get this dried, because, you know, I don't want to sock my finger in it and mess it up now that I have it. This is so cute, guys. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I'm going to be so ready for the holiday when it comes. I will, I will, I will. And then I've got this really cute little ribbon. Isn't this cute? Oh my goodness. This is super, super cute. Now remember your sparkle glitter, I mean your sparkle um, paste takes just a little bit longer to dry. So I'm just checking to make sure it is. And then I'm going to take it. I'm gonna kind of scrunch it up. Maybe put just a little bow over on the side. Maybe my bat will just stick out just a hair over here. I think I need to fold it. I think I need to fold it just a little bit so that it will maybe show, you know? Maybe it will show just a hair. Just a little bit, you know, and then we're just going to put a little teeny bow right over here. We're just going to knot it and then just let it be, you know, just going to let it be. Nothing spectacular, you know. Maybe I can pull this down just a little. Maybe my bat, well, part of my bat shows anyway. Part of him shows. Maybe the whole thing won't show, but part of him will. Super cute. Super, super cute, guys, and so easy. How long? Literally maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Like I said, I spent more time in the store today than I did making this. fix the end of this and then we're going to be done. So guys, if there's anyone out there that loves what I'm doing and you want to do it too, put hashtag me, 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 and I will get you into an opportunity group. It is only $99 if you decide to join after you watch the video. 
or you could also be a customer and do Club Couture for $19.99. Um, it's Happy Mail every month to your front door. Look at this. This is so cute, guys. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And if you did, or if you have some friends out there, please sprinkle my video so that we can get more followers and more people that might love doing this or becoming a customer. I hope you guys all have a great evening and thanks for supporting me. And I'll be talking and talking with you guys tomorrow night, 8.30. I'll see you. Night, guys. Love you.